Hi and welcome to another episode of HDFC Life Presents Jeet Ka Insurance Cricket Quiz Which uncapped Indian player was bought by the Gujarat Giant for a price of 2 crores making her the joint highest priced player in the 2024 WPL auction? Pass. 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 Team 2 seem to have an answer. Yeah, playing the card. You're playing the HDFC Life Insurance card? Kashvi Gautam. Kashvi Gautam! Excellent Team 2! As the tournament is pacing towards the end, everybody's on the tip of their toes. And with that, I welcome you all to HDFC Life Presence, Jeet Ka Insurance Cricket Quiz. And for that, we have to welcome our quiz master, Mr. Venke Srinivasan. Hello, sir. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Well, the floor is yours, sir. Thank you. Hi, and welcome to another episode of HDFC Life Presence, Jeet Ka Insurance Cricket Quiz. This has been a pan-India cricket quiz open to all. We've had phenomenal participation from the length and breadth of the country. 1,500 plus teams took part in an online round. And from there, eight teams qualified to come here and take part in the Super 8 rounds, as we're calling it. We're, of course, in the ICC World T20 season. So the Super 8s, there are four Super 8 rounds that are going to happen with two teams in each of them. And the winning teams will proceed to the semi-final round and of course, the whole tournament culminates in a grand finale to find the first ever champion of HDFC Live Presence Jeet Ka Insurance Cricket Quiz. Time now to meet two wonderful teams who are going to take part in this episode of the quiz. Let's meet our first team in today's quiz. They call themselves the Contingency Theorists. Please welcome Pratik and Kapil. Welcome and all the best. Hello. All the best to you. Going up against the contingency theorists today are our second team. They have a very interesting team name. They call themselves by the barest of margins. Please welcome Rohit and Pritam. All the best to you. Thank you. Well, all the best. Those are our two teams in today's quiz. As we get on with the quiz, we're going to be talking to them. We're going to find out about their cricket fandom. We're going to see what excites them from the world of sport and cricket and what their quizzing experiences have been. Let's get right into it with this episode of HDFC Life Presents Jeet Ka Insurance Cricket Quiz. Let's talk to the teams in today's episode. Team 1, Contingency Theorists, welcome to the quiz. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Pratik. Uh, I'm based out of Bangalore and I'm a consultant there. Hi, I'm Kapil Kulkarni. I'm a consultant based out of Hyderabad. Okay, and how do you two know each other living in different cities? We used to work in the same firm about a year ago. Uh, that is where I found his love for cricket. So, I would say that's how we got introduced to each other. But and meeting for the first time today. Yeah. Oh, you're in actually person. meeting for the first time today. Yes. It's only been virtual calls till yes. now. Yes. yes. Wow, yes. great. Fantastic to hear that. A little bit about your favorite cricketing memories, some experiences. I would say 2003 India-Pakistan. And I, I mean, no cricket lover would forget that day. So one of the favorite memories. For me, it will be the 2001 uh, India-Australia at Eden Gardens when I was a youngster. So when I saw India win after the follow-on, that was my favorite memory. Good, you clarified that you were a youngster yeah. at the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, welcome and all the best to you. Thank uh, you. Let's go over to team two, which has Rohit and Pritam, who call themselves by the barest of margins. First, begin by telling us what's the origin of this rather long team name. So, I think, uh, you know, it's a very inspiring uh, piece of uh, commentary and I think that will be etched in our memories for the rest of our lifetimes. Uh, the close, uh, you know, 2019 Cricket World Cup final that was bookended by... Uh, that super over and by that uh, tie and all of it, right? So, uh, I think it's just one of those lines that will remain in our memories forever, so that's it. Right, and tell us a little bit about your love for cricket and quizzing. How long has it spanned? Yeah, I mean, I think if you're born in any Indian household, uh, you'll, you're inevitably bound to follow cricket. Same with me, uh, cricket-loving household. Uh, I started following, I think, in the 1996 World Cup, Sachin was my first idol and st I mean, obviously still is my idol. So, I've uh, been following Team India and CSK since then. Okay, and, and uh, what do you both do? Uh, so, I'm a business analyst based out of Bangalore. Uh, I'm a marketing manager based out of Bangalore. Alright, so two Bangaloreans, a marketing manager and a business analyst and 
going up against a couple of consultants. Okay, we have a great match in hand. Let's go straight in and look at the rules for today's quiz. We have four rounds in the quiz. There are going to be 28 questions in all. Two rounds each on passing and buzzer. Baseline points are 100. There will be negative marking in the buzzer rounds. We'll tell you the specific rules when we get to them. The quiz, of course, is all about cricket. Those are the rules. Going straight into round number one for today's quiz. It's the opening over. Opening overs can be tricky sometimes. Sometimes you can score a lot of runs. Sometimes you could get uh, uh, an away swinger that you might edge to the slips. But in the opening over, you're going to get a grid in which seven topics will appear. You will get to choose your topics. Uh, the topics are rather cryptic. You'll get a question based on that. You get 30 seconds on the direct. Please be uh, cognizant of time. If you, if you don't get it within that time, we'll automatically pass it. On the pass, you get 10 seconds. Uh, give us a complete answer. 100 points, whether you get it on the direct or the pass, there is no negative marking at all in the quiz. Are you ready, both teams? Let's go straight in and look at the grid for today's opening over. You have Twin Peaks, you have Winner Loser, you have Africa, you have Aquatic, you have Brief Spark, you have Pricey and you have One and Done. What would you like to pick? Uh, we'll pick One and Done. You'll pick One and Done. Here is your One and Done question. The only test match held at this stadium was between India and Pakistan in 1987. Ravi Shastri was the player of the match, scoring a hundred. Which ground? Named after a famous royal. Rawalpindi. Rawalpindi, you say? Okay. Rawalpindi is unfortunately incorrect. It passes to team barest of all margins. We'll say the Savai Singh Stadium at Jaipur. The Savai Singh Stadium at Jaipur. That's an excellent answer. It is the Savai Singh Stadium at Jaipur in Rajasthan. It's hosted only one test. That was between India and Pakistan. And Ravi Shastri was named player of the match, scoring a century. Good start, team two. 100 points to you on the board. What would you like to pick? Winner, loser. Winner, loser. Winner, loser. All right. This player has the rare achievement of being awarded a player of the match despite ending on the losing side in an ODI World Cup match. His performance of 6 for 23 brought Australia to their knees at 208 all out. Unfortunately, his side couldn't chase it down. Who is this winner, loser? Good intense discussion among both the teams. Yes, team two. Uh, we'll guess Lance Klusner. Lance Klusner, you say? It's not Lance Klusner. It passes to team one. Shane Bond. Shane Bond is an excellent answer. Absolutely right. Shane Bond to have ended up on the losing side, but got player of the match for his wonderful 6 for 23 against Australia. Great answer there. So, two questions down and both teams haven't answered the direct, but they've got the other question right. So, great contest up ahead. Yes, team one. Uh, we'll pick Twin Pe Peaks. Twin Peaks. All right. Twin Peaks it is. Virag Aute and Nari Contractor have scored twin centuries on first-class debut for India. Which player joined them in 2022 with twin centuries on Ranji Trophy debut? He was in the news before that for his exploits with the India Under-19 squad. Suvet Parker. Suvet Parker, good guess, Steve. What passes barest of all margins? Are you going to get it? Let's say Yash Dhul. Yash Dhul is a fantastic answer. Yash Dhul, indeed. Yash Dhul, who did exceptionally well with the India Under-19 team and then uh, had a sparkling Ranji Trophy debut, scoring twin centuries. So once again, the question bounces and the team two get it right. Team two. Your own pick. It's a brief spark. Brief spark. This player appeared in 12 T20 internationals for South Africa, all in 2012, and has never played for them again. He will, however, be remembered as their first ever centurion in T20 internationals. Who is this player? Say, Richard Levi. Richard Levi, very good answer. Richard Levi is absolutely correct. A very short lived career but name that's going to be etched in the record books of South African cricket forever because he was their first centurion in T20 internationals. Uh, one of the early centurions in all T20 international cricket. Well done. 100 points to team two on Richard Levi. Back to you team one, your last pick of the round. Pricey. Pricey. Which uncapped Indian player was bought by the Gujarat Giants for a price of two crores making her the joint highest-priced player 
in the 2024 WPL auction. Gonna have to pass you if you don't give me an answer now. Take a guess. I don't have pass. 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 Okay, team two seem to have an answer. Kashvi Gautam. Kashvi Gautam. Excellent team two. Great answer there. Kashvi Gautam, the uncapped Indian player, bought for two crores by the Gujarat Giants. That's another good 100 points to team two by the barest of margins. And the last pick for the round, you have two A's left, Africa and Aquatic. What do you want to go with? Aquatic. Aquatic. Okay, after detailed discussion and strategizing, they've decided on Aquatic. What was named Starfish, S-T-A-R-F-I-S-H, by members of a certain cricket team because you needed to have no brains to do something like that? We're looking for a specific eight-letter term. We'll say uh, underarm. Underarm, all right, underarm. So you're referring to the Australia underarm incident, I suppose. Good guess on underarm, not underarm. We'll go with ramp shot. Ramp shot. That's two words. I was looking for one eight-letter answer. You're very close to the answer, but I can't give it to you. The correct answer is dill oh. scoop. Dill scoop, which is a kind of ramp shot, but this was dill scoop. And uh, the Sri Lankan team themselves felt that you... How can you play a shot like this when you have no brains to play? Dill scoop indeed. Uh, that was a tricky one. That went past both the teams, but a very riveting first round in this episode of HDFC Live presents Jeetka Insurance Cricket Quiz comes to an end. At the end of the opening over, let's take a look at the scoreboard. All right, at the end of round one, we have the contingency theorists on 100 and by the barest of margins on 400. Long way to go in the quiz. We're going to go straight into round number two, Round number two is our power play round, and we'll tell you what it's all about just now. Here are the rules. There are eight questions on the buzzer, just like the power play. This is the round you can capitalize and make a lot of points. All questions will need a connection as the answer. Some will appear on screen as images, and some I will be reading out. You get plus 100, minus 100 on the buzzer. Now, if a team hits the buzzer and gets it wrong, the other team can choose to go for it. You don't have to really press the buzzer again, but you still get plus 100, minus 100. If you think you're not sure, you can just pass. If you've hit the buzzer, of course, within five seconds, you have to give us an answer. Please don't hit the buzzer and then start discussing. This quiz, as you know, is brought to you by HDFC Life, one of India's leading life insurers. And the main concept of life insurance is paying a small cost upfront to protect against substantive downside risks later in your life. Your substantive downside risk in this quiz is getting an answer wrong. So you can play the HDFC life insurance card once during this round across the eight questions. You can hit the buzzer and then play the card, not a problem. But if you play the card, you're paying a small upfront cost, which is 20 points. So you will get only 80, even if you get it right. But you're protecting against a huge downside risk. So you get penalized only 20 points instead of 100. So you can play it any one time during the quiz. So think about it carefully. Hold up the card when you're playing it and say that you want to play the HDFC life insurance card. You can play this card one time during this round. There is another buzzer round later in the quiz where you can play it one more time. So one time during this round. Okay, ready? First question, we're going to show you three statues on screen. You have to tell us which stadium connects. Teams nervy about the negatives, not going for it. Lots of discussion among the teams. Last call. Neither team seems to be going for it. We will close the question now. The three statues that you see are Don Bradman, Jason Gillespie, and Darren Lehman. All these statues are at the Adelaide Oval in Adelaide. All of them are in the Adelaide Oval. All right. Next question. We're going to show you three cricketers. You have to tell us what is common to the first runs that they scored in test cricket. Yes, team two. They all hit a six. They all hit a six. That's very good. Do you know who the three gentlemen are? Dhananjay De Silva, Rishabh Pant and... 
ंग्लैंड and ashok gandotra of india possibly the Very only impressive. two of their kind in the world one of them is ashok gandotra what early it's life fact connects freddy brown of england and ashok gandotra of india team two have gone for it say born in non test playing nations like brazil and so on so born in i'll need a a better answer i'll need you to slightly modify your answer born in south america that is the right answer both of them are born in south america the only two test cricketers to be born in south america freddy brown was born in peru and ashok gandotra was born in brazil the only two south american born test cricketers in the world well done team 2 100 points to you next question is a visual we're again going to show you three players you have to tell us what specific achievement with respect to an annual honor connects these players and think twice before you answer okay team 2 so they won the purple cap twice in ipl that is a very good answer they won the purple cap not once but twice in the ipl and the three players are dwain bravo bhuvneshwar kumar harshal patel perfect answer dwain bravo bhuvneshwar kumar and harshal patel have won the purple cap for the best bowler of the season in an IPL edition not once but twice okay another good 100 points to team 2 next question i'm going to read it out what disadvantage connects a brief return by a player to first class cricket for sussex in 1920 and the entire international career of india's youngest test captain the entire international career of india's youngest test captain and a brief return by a player to first class cricket for sussex in 1920 yes team one so they they lacked vision in one eye perfect answer very well done ranji for sussex and of course manzoor ali khan patodi for india they played with one eye great answer team one great answer contingency theorist 100 points to you next question on screen three cricketers on screen have done this all round feat in odi world cups who is the only other indian in this connect okay team 2 yuvraj singh and what's the feat 50, 50, 50 and 5 wickets minutes. in the same match it's 105 wickets in world cups but i'll give it to you yuvraj singh is absolutely right and the three cricketers here shakib al hasan kapil dev mitchmarsh perfect answer shakib al hasan kapil dev and mitchell marsh all round feat in odi world cups yuvraj singh is the fourth penultimate question coming up for this round which i'm going to read out i'm going to give you three pairs of players with a number against each of them and you have to give us a specific connection in test cricket it's burt oldfield and clary grimmett with 28 in odi cricket it's moin khan and saklain mushtaq with 31 most dismissals by a pair a keeper bowler and a keeper keeper pair is that your final answer I clarified that I was looking for a specific achievement. Got behind specifically off the bowler. Incorrect. That's minus hundred to team two. Let me complete the question. If it's in Test cricket, it's Burt Oldfield and Clary Grimmett with twenty-eight. In ODI cricket, it's Moin Khan and Sakhalin Mushtaq with thirty-one. In T20I cricket, it's Saeed Ajmal and Kamran Akmal with fourteen. What are we talking about? Mm. Quick answer needed, team one. You're gonna play the HDFC life insurance card, all right? Yes, uh, it's stumpings. What about it? The pair, as in the pair, have taken, as in the wicketkeeper has taken stumpings of this player the most. Absolutely right. That's the right answer. It was not catches, and it's not the overall record. It's specifically the bowler wicketkeeper combo with the most stumpings. You decided to play the HDFC life insurance card, so you get 80 points. 80 points to team one on that question, and a minus 100 to team two. Last question we're going to show you three cricketers tell us what connects them with regard to their full names
five more seconds. What connects them with regard to their full names? Team two are on the verge of going for it. Team one still deciding. Last call. I'm going to close this question now. On screen are Barrington Roland, Neil Fairbrother, and Kenny Benjamin. Barrington Roland was named after Ken Barrington. Neil Fairbrother was named after Neil Harvey. And Kenny Benjamin's full name is Kenneth Charlie Griffith Benjamin. All three cricketers named after other international cricketers. That was our rather tricky connect. And with that, the very exciting power play round is done. We are at the halfway point of this quiz. And it's time now to take a look at the scorecard. All right, the contingency theorists have progressed to 280 points. Team 1, 280. By the barest of margins, Team 2 on 700. 280 to 700. But remember, half the quiz remains. जीत का इंश्योरेंस करने के तो कई तरीके हैं पर लाइफ में जीत की गारंटी करने के लिए एच डी एफ सी लाइफ का क्लिक टू प्रोटेक्ट सुपर ही काम आएगा गोइंग टू गो नेक्स्ट इन टू आर कंसोलिडेशन फेज द मिडल ओवर्स राउंड थ्री मिडल ओवर्स क्यूर द रूल्स फॉर राउंड थ्री द मिडल ओवर्स दिस टाइम यूल गेट अ ग्रेड विथ सेवन फ्लैग्स Again, each team gets to choose three flags alternatingly. We will start this time with you by the barest of margins. The questions in some way will be related to the country that you choose. Again, a hundred points on a direct and a pass and no negative marking. Here is the grid with the flags. There you go. Those are your seven flags. I think all of them recognizable, but I'll tell you the countries. That's India, Pakistan, South Africa, the Netherlands, Hong Kong, Papua New Guinea and Canada. What would you like to pick? We, we, we have uh, four consultants type people over here. So lots of strategy will go on in trying to pick a topic. We'll pick Papua New Guinea. You will pick Papua New Guinea. All right. I was sure you'd do something like that. Pick a non-obvious one. Here you go. This former Australian cricketer served as the director of cricket in PNG from 2009 to 11 and is credited with creating a professional setup there. A Queensland player, he'd also visited a Papua New Guinea as a player, which member of Australia's 2003 World Cup squad, he also served in Australia's selection panel. Andy Bickle. Andy Bickle! What an answer, Team 2. Absolutely right. That was a real toughie and you put it away very smoothly through the covers for four. Andy Bickle is absolutely correct. That gets you 100 points on Andy Bickle. All right, contingency theorists. We'll take Pakistan. Pakistan, all right. The first recorded instance of this in T20s is comically and appropriately Shaheed Afridi versus Northands in 2010. Ravichandran Ashwin did this in IPL 2022 and predicted that it will become more common with time. What are we talking about? First instance of this in T20is in T20s is Shaheed Afridi versus Northants. Ashwin did this in 2022. What is this? Team 1. Ashwin went retired, as in he retired and he went back to the while he was while he was well, as in he, he went out. I'll give it to you. That's the right answer. Tactically retired out. out. Yeah, he was retired out. Uh, of course, you know, you can get retired hurt and go back, but he decided because he wanted the fastest scoring batsman to come in. He tactically retired out himself. Great answer, Team 1. 100 points to you. Very well worked out and well done. By the barest of margin. Uh, we'll pick Hong Kong. All right, going through all the associates. When Hong Kong played Pakistan in the 2022 Asia Cup, the loser was poised to exit the tournament. The Hong Kong coach was upbeat, extolling the virtues of his team. He may have also drawn inspiration from his leadership in a game 15 years prior to this. Who was the coach? 15 years ago, I think it was the Italy World Cup. Ireland. So, William Porterfield? William Porterfield, okay. Good guess, very good guess. Not William Porterfield. Team 1. 
quick answer from you, needed team one. Ian Johnston. What's your final answer? Ian Johnson, the coach, uh, I mean, Ireland defeating Pakistan in 2007 World Cup. I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. It's Trent Johnston. It's not Ian Johnston. If you just said Ian, I would have given you... If you just said Johnston, I would have given you the points. But it's Trent Johnston. It's Trent Johnston. Not Ian Johnston. Tough luck, team one. Uh, very nice answer, but you were very close. But it's your turn to make up some points now. So, uh, what would you like to pick? South Africa. South Africa. All right. Here we go with South Africa. Oscar Zatani, O-S-C-A-R-Z-A-T-A-N-I, has been hailed as a national hero in South Africa, although his work agreement prevents him from speaking about it. He has said that he was just doing his job. What was Zatani's role in a cricketing incident from about five years back? Yes, Tima. So, he caught the sandpaper gate between uh, the two teams, as in within Australia and South Africa. So what was he? So he was the cameraman. He was the cameraman who caught the sandpaper gate controversy. And do you know which player specifically did he uh, did he actually catch? Bancroft. Bancroft. Wonderful. Absolutely right. He was Oscar Zatani. Was the cameraman uh, who caught Cameron Bancroft tampering the ball. That, as all of you might know, led to the infamous sandpaper gate controversy. Uh, it led to several repercussions for members of the Australian team. Great answer. Repercussions for you are very positive. 100 points to you. And your last pick of the round? India. India. Finally, you've come back to picking home turf. Here we go. NKP Salve contacted Noor Khan, head of the PCB, to float this idea. The two of them had to also get the idea approved by Zia ul Haq and Rajiv Gandhi. Democratizing cricket and getting it out of the classist stronghold was a major cause for motivation. What resulted through all of this? The 1987 Cricket World Cup was hosted jointly between India and Pakistan. Lovely answer, absolutely right. Till then, the Cricket World Cup had only been held in England and they decided that it's time to bring it to two very large cricket-loving nations. And so, this is how the 1987 Cricket World Cup was jointly hosted by India and Pakistan. That's a great answer, Team 2. 100 points to you. Last question of the round 2, Team 1. Is it the Netherlands or is it Canada? It's Netherlands. The Netherlands. All right. This country was introduced to cricket through the Napoleonic Wars. Although it was superseded by football, its recent rise in popularity is captured in the book Cricket Below Dash Dash. There are two blanks. The first blank is three letters and the second blank is five letters. Cricket below blank blank. Your answer is? Ice Arctic. Ice Arctic. Team 2, do you have a guess? It's a sea level. How do you spell that? S-E-A-L-E-V-E-L. -E -E that's the right answer and the country of course is? Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, the, the Netherlands cricket rice has been captured in this book called Cricket Below Sea Level in uh, reference to the geographic position of Netherlands. I think team one got the track, uh, went for it, but couldn't find a 3,5 to fit it. Great answer once again, team two. And that brings us to the end of the middle overs in this episode. We have one more round left. The slog overs are coming up in HDFC Life Presents Jeetka Insurance Cricket Quiz in this Super 8's episode. But before that, here's a look at the scoreboard. The contingency theorists are on 480 and by the barest of margins are on 1,000. 480 to 1,000, but lots of points at stake in round number four. We'll go right into it now. The final round is here, the slog overs. Here are the rules, eight questions on the buzzer. I will be reading them out. Plus 100, minus 100. Second attempt on the buzzer if the first team that buzzes gets it wrong. Again, plus 100, minus 100. And please remember, you can use a HDFC life insurance card once during this round for plus 80, minus 20. That might end up making quite a difference in the quiz. Both teams ready? Ready? Question number one of the slog overs. Who was the first bowler to take 10 wickets in a test match for India, doing so in Feb 1952 and going on to repeat the feat that year? Team 2 are playing it very cool, calculating the maths. 
last chance, team one. I'm going to close it. Yeah, team one, just in the nick of time, I've gone for it. And they're playing their HDFC life insurance card. Yes, team one, your answer is? Need an answer now. Amar Singh. Amar Singh is incorrect. But good that you played your HDFC life insurance card. You had to take a chance. You get minus 20 for that. The correct answer is Vinu Mankat. Second question. The autobiography of which cricketer, who was a very successful captain for his country as well, is titled, A Century Is Not Enough. Yes, team one. Graham Gooch. Graham Gooch is incorrect. That's minus 100. Team two, you want to go for it? Quote, no, that's not enough. I have no idea. No, no, no. 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 the correct answer is our own Shaurav Ganguly. A century is not enough. Autobiography of Shaurav Ganguly. Okay. Third question, team one going for it, which is the right spirit because that's the only way you can hope to upstage team two. Six questions remaining. Which childhood hero of Sunil Gavaskar was the first man to captain West Indies in one day international cricket? Yes, team one. Rohan Kanai. Rohan Kanai, very good, team one. Well done. That's a cracker of an answer. Plus 100 to you. Rohan Kanai, before Clive Lloyd, of course took over uh, famously as captain and led them to a World Cup win. Rohan Kanai was the first man to captain West Indies in one day international cricket. Question number four coming up. The Marara Oval is located in which city in Australia named after a man of science? Team two. Darwin. Darwin, very good answer team two. Darwin, the Marara Oval at Darwin, a prominent cricket ground these days. Located in Darwin, named of course after Charles Darwin. Four questions remaining. Here is the next one. Which Sri Lankan cricketer holds the record for most wickets in an edition of the T20 World Cup, taking 16 wickets in 2021? Vanindu Hasaranga. Vanindu Hasaranga. Wonderful answer. The leg spinner Vanindu Hasaranga is absolutely right. Uh, he took 16 wickets in 2021 and that's still the record for a single edition of the T20 World Cup. Uh, we'll, of course, wait to see if that record gets beaten in 2024. Uh, as we shoot, that's the record. 100 points to Team 1. Next question, question number 6. Who was the player of the match in the final of the second ICC Men's World Cup in 1979? Yes, Team 1. Viv Richards. Viv Richards, very good answer. 138 not out versus England. Viv Richards. The player of the match in the final, in the very first final as well. Uh, you know, it was a West Indian who was the player of the match, but this one was Viv Richards. Uh, another 100 points to you. Team 1 coming back strongly. Two questions remaining. Here is the penultimate question of the quiz. Colin Elgar and Colin Hoy were the umpires in which historic test match more than 60 years ago? Yes, Team 1. The first tight test. Lovely answer. The first tight test, 1960 at Brisbane, Australia and West Indies. The first ever tight test. Uh, they were the two umpires in the first ever tight test. That's another great answer. Another plus 100 to team one. The quiz is very close at this point of time. We're into the last question. Extremely good contest played out by two wonderful teams with some amazing answers. Here is the very last question of today's quiz. English cricketer Anya Shrapsol recorded what barrier-breaking achievement in an important publication related to the game? Playing the card. You're playing the HDFC life insurance card? She made the cover of Wisden. First woman cricketer to make the cover of uh, Wisden. Wisden's Almanac. The first woman cricketer to be on the cover of the Wisden Cricket Almanac. I can't pass you on that because you're right and you get yourself 80 points for using your HDFC life insurance card. Lots of strategy at play over there. 80 points to team two for Anya Shrapsol becoming the first woman to be on the cover of the Wisden Cricket Almanac. And with that, we are at the end of this absolutely riveting episode, a Super 8 episode of HDFC Life Presents Jeetka Insurance Cricket Quiz. Let's look at the final scoreboard to see which team has booked their slot in the semi-finals. Contingency theorists finish on 760 points after a really valiant fight, fantastic performance, continuous answers on the buzzers, but not so much by the barest of margins. 
but by a relatively small margin at 1,180 points. Team number two, by the barest of margins, are our winners for today and book their slot in the semi-final round. Very well done, both teams. A great performance and very well played. Great answering, Preetam and Rohit, by the barest of margins and very well done to you. So we have the contenders from the cricket quiz and let us know from them how they felt. Hi, welcome. How are you? Well, I would like to know how was your experience in the cricket quiz? It was great actually, uh, competing with different teams, trying to look at different questions, trying to answer different things, meeting new people. So great, great experience altogether. Uh, I think it was a very exciting uh, experience because uh, there were a lot of questions where you had to uh, think about it and then decide in split seconds whether you wanted to go for it, right? So it's always a very uh, nice experience to do that and uh, the questions were themselves very nice, so uh, overall very enjoyable. Well, the next question is for you, sir. Seeing India's performance, how do you think they can ensure their win in the World Cup? The only way I think is to go positive and play aggressive cricket. Uh, I think they should try and capitalize on the power play, the first six overs uh, uh, Clearly, in this World Cup, you know, in the later half, it's getting very hard to bat. So I think the first six overs should kind of count for most and then kind of build on top of that. Well, that's quite a great observation. <laughs> Moving on to the next question, as we can see, Rishabh Pant has done a great comeback. Should he be opening with Rohit Sharma? Uh, I don't think so. I think we should still continue with Virat Kohli because uh, the ball is moving around and doing uh, quite a few things in the power play. So uh, I think Kohli is the best man to weather the storm and then Pant can come one down and take the attack to the bowlers. So. I always thought Rishabh Pant should open uh, because the guy is a lefty and a left hand a right hand combination at the beginning always makes sense. So yeah, he should, um, should open. So the next question is for you, sir. It is compiled out of two questions and just answer it honestly. Do you think Akshar Patel should be replaced? If yes, then is it Yuzi or uh, Kuldeep? I think uh, yes, because Kuldeep is a more attacking option when it comes to bowling. So I think uh, we can try with Kuldeep. Uh, no, I don't think Aksa should be replaced because he gives uh, a good amount of batting down the order um, in this World Cup. Wickets are tumbling down, so you need somebody at the back end. But if at all you want to replace him, I think you would go for Kuldeep. He's been in form over the past two years and I think he'll be more than, more than a handful on those tracks. Well, that's an honest answer and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It has been quite a good conversation with you both. Thank you.